Hello, this is Greg from SharePoint Maven. And in this video, I would like to explain to you how you can moderate and control conversations in Microsoft Teams. Uh, let me clarify to you what I'm talking about here. So uh, if you're using Teams, and I'm sure you do, uh, you, I'm pr pretty sure you're part of many, many different teams. And every team, of course, has uh, lots of different uh, channels. And of course, by default, um, by default, anyone uh, can uh, post messages, reply to messages in each of the uh, channels that you have. And this can be a bit overwhelming, right? I mean, multiply the number uh, of teams times the number of channels and times the number of uh, users, uh, and you get the idea, uh, right? Uh, it can be a bit overwhelming sometimes with all these different posts and replies uh, flying around. However, what you can do as a team owner, you can do it as a team owner, you can uh, actually restrict and moderate uh, conversations uh, in, uh, in certain channels, in the channels within a team. Uh, here is how you do it. So by default, here is my HR team and I have a few channels. Of course, general is my kind of catch all, right? This is the default channel that got created when I created the team. And then obviously these are uh, additional channels I created as well. So um, what you can do is if you hover over each and every uh, channel uh, and click on ellipsis, the three dots, and click on manage channel, uh, so on the general, uh, you only have a few options here. So by default, because general is kind of the sketch all channel, uh, by default, anyone can post messages, but uh, you can also uh, kind of downgrade it. Uh, if you do have a large team, you can, you know, you can pretty much uh, downgrade it to this option. It will still allow them to, to post, but it will give them a users the warning message that uh, it, you know, the message will be sent to pretty much uh, uh, everyone, all right, uh, to, 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 to everyone. So it, it will give you kind of a warning here, uh, or you can kind of restrict it. And if you want uh, only the owners to post the messages, then so be it. You can uh, do that here, uh, right here by downgrading to this option. All right, so that's uh, the kind of settings you have uh, for the general channel. And then uh, for the custom channels, for the channels you have created, if I click three dots uh, next to one of those channels, uh, manage channel. So you do have a few additional options here. So by default, uh, moderation is off for those custom channels. Uh, but what you can do, you can enable it. You can say on. And the way this works, essentially, uh, it will only allow moderators to pause the message. Uh, to post the messages uh, when you enable moderation. Uh, by default, uh, all the team owners, in this case, it's just me, um, uh, yeah, only the team owners uh, can post the messages. But let's say you have, a, I don't know, a team of uh, 20 people, right? And I'm the team owner. Uh, I can also maybe add one or two people uh, from the team who are not team owners, but who will be moder moderators just like me, who will be uh, able to uh, you know, post the messages as well. All right, to this particular channel. So you can do that here. Uh, and then you have some additional uh, settings over here. For example, uh, by default, it does allow the members uh, to reply to the messages. It doesn't allow them to post you know, new messages, but they can reply. But again, you can disable that. Uh, and there are a few additional options you can also tweak here with the check boxes uh, if you want to restrict certain settings. Uh, but that's pretty much it. I mean, essentially, again, by, by default, it's uh, pretty liberal, meaning that anyone can post uh, anything they want and reply to anything they want uh, within those channels. But just like I demonstrated to you, you can actually moderate it uh, in certain occasions. And there are obviously use cases uh, uh, where this might be necessary if you have uh, a large team, if you maybe created an org-wide uh, team, right, where everyone automatically joins, uh, I think you will uh, almost, uh, it will pr pretty much become mandatory for you to uh, to manage uh, moderation, uh, to control uh, moderation uh, uh, and conversations on those channels uh, to stay sane. One last thing I wanted to mention before we end this video, my SharePoint Maven Academy. Uh, it's a place where you can enroll in a variety of SharePoint and Office 365 courses. Uh, all the courses are available on demand. So once enrolled, you can pretty much take them at your own pace. Uh, you navigate to the Academy by going to academy.sharepointmaven.com. And I will also leave the link uh, in the uh, video notes as well. Uh, but once you make it to the site, um, you can uh, access all the courses. 
I have two different categories for you to choose from. I have some end user courses. I have some uh, site owner courses, and I constantly record and add additional courses for you to enroll in. Uh, and again, once enrolled, you can access those courses at your own pace from the convenience uh, of your computer. Um, so uh, that's pretty much everything I wanted to show you today. Uh, uh, again, uh, as always, we'll be happy to see you on my YouTube channel as well as my blog, sharepointmaven.com. Uh, thank you very much and have a great rest of the day. Goodbye.